Hello guys, it's Sergeant Sloth here again, and today we're playing some Transformers or for Cybertron. Surprise, surprise! And I'm going to be using the uh, leader class, as as seen here. Uh, no, wait, this is a huh? That's strange. The leader doesn't usually fly. Oh, that's right. I'm using this. This is a scientist. Okay, so this is a leader gameplay, but. Uh, I started off using the scientist. I think I came to this game about a minute after it started or something. And uh, sometimes even when I'm a minute late into a game, I have trouble, like, you know, getting used to it. Well, main problem I have is when uh, when I go to join a lobby for the first time, you know, I don't really know the skill player, or no, sorry, the skill levels of the players in the game, so I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be expecting, like, like mega pro players or like really scrub players, I don't know. You have to play like one or two games to really get it, you know? And then if I see someone who's really good, I'll like remember their name and stuff, and I'll, I'll know to avoid them. But uh, for the most part, when I'm just jumping into a lobby for the first time, you know, I don't know what to expect. You know, but I'm, I'm not one of those people who like rage quits a lobby if, if there's one really good guy in it. I know some people who like, I don't know, play Modern Warfare 2, uh, Especially on game mode like free for all, if there's like one guy who's really good, he's probably gonna take all your kills, and it's gonna be like annoying as hell for you to win the game. That happens to me a lot when I play Modern Warfare 2. You know, I don't rage quit. Like I try to stay in the game and like try to get better than that guy. You know, because it takes like practice, right? I think. Well, I don't. Know, I just get annoyed because in Modern Warfare 2, I play a very uh, <clears throat> defensive style. Uh, I wouldn't call it camping. I, I would call it um, maybe camping in motion, but not specifically camping, you see. So I get kills at a much slower pace because I'm, I'm a patient person, you know. But then if there's like one guy in my game who's like Johnny Johnny Runarounds, and all he does all game is run around with his UMP-45, just getting kills and dying, get killed, die, get a kill, die, get a kill, die. Or there's some guy with like a noob tube who pushes a noob tube, throws two noob tubes, maybe gets a kill with one, dies, you know. Rinse and repeat. Well, by the end of the game, that guy's going to be like 30 and 30, but, you know, and then I'm going to be at the bottom of the list with like 11 kills and like two deaths, you know, I'll have the better KDD, but whatever, man, that guy's the winner, and winning's what counts, right? Winning's what people care about, I think. Well, KDD too. Uh, oh, pay attention to this overshield spot here. Uh, a lot of people like to fight over this, and if you're not careful, uh, some people like to camp inside that room. And like wait for dudes to show to, to come by to get the overshield. It's it's one of the better known, better fought over overshield spots. I think specifically because of the fact that it's so easy to find. I mean, huge tunnel, and it's like the first, the only room in the tunnel. So you know everybody knows what's in that room, right? And uh, it's, sometimes it's really frustrating when there's no overshield there, but the enemy team is like camping that spot. I played against one team who. I don't know how they did this, but they had one guy with overshield on like 24/7, and I had to keep killing the overshield guy, and it was it was pretty ridiculous. Like I I, I don't know if they actually did this, but I, I could have sworn that they were like a clan of some sort, and they had like people alternate, like like they they had like a turn system, like okay you go get the overshield, and then after after I take the overshield or no sorry after I take the overshield then. Uh, Mr. Number Two, he he goes and he stands in the overshield room. He waits for it to respawn. Then he takes it and leaves. And when he's got it, he does a call out. And then Number Three comes, camps there, takes the overshield. Number Four comes next, camps there, takes the overshield. Then he goes back to Number One. I, I don't know what the heck they were doing, but it was ridiculous. And the worst part was my team were you know a bunch of the usual scaredy cat randoms and like. I swear to God, every time that overshield guy would come around the corner, I'd see all my teammates just running the opposite direction. It was kind of frustrating, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I've only had that problem on this map. But I think the other maps, the overshield's sort of, like, in one spot, but, like, here you can sort of spawn next to it, which kind of gives that team an advantage. Yeah. Well, I think there's a second overshield on this map, but, like, most people don't even know where it is, so that's kind of a problem. Anyways, what was I talking about before? What was I talking about? Oh, man. Well, something about skill level. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, like, that defensive style of mine that keeps, you know, screwing me over in Modern Warfare 2 when everyone else is, like, rushing around, getting killed super fast, dying a million times. 
I don't have a problem in this game because you know the game is just naturally slow paced. So you know, it's, it's like a game that goes at my own level. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix that though. I'm trying to get better at rushing and stuff. Speaking of Modern Warfare 2, you've never seen me post a, post a gameplay of it. I'm actually uh, fourth prestige level like 62 in it, and I played the game like crazy from the first week it came out, and I just got so. Uh, over time frustrated and tired with it and that's why you probably I don't know if you'll ever see me post up a, a gameplay of that because I just don't play it anymore I just I just can't stand it you know if you ever see a video involving me and Modern Warfare 2 it's either gonna be me, be me trash talking Modern Warfare 2 or like me I don't know eating my copy of Modern Warfare 2 like just taking the disc and like you know putting it in a blender and then putting it in a hot dog bun and just biting into it and eating it and stuff which I'm very tempted to do I'm sure the game tastes a lot better than it plays so uh, yeah so I started off this game as scientist you know I'm, I'm people ask me what's my favorite class I honestly don't care about playing any of them scouts a bit boring sometimes but sometimes he's, he's fun to play as uh, Usually, what my pattern is, is I start off the game playing a scientist, because scientist is fun as hell. Then I usually go 0 and 6, because I'm just fooling around, you know, and uh, then I, I say, you know, you know what, man, like, I'm not going to make my team lose because I was fooling around, right? I'm going to take responsibility. And then I usually switch to a leader or a soldier, like, in the last five minutes of the game, and that usually brings my score up to, like, something like 9 and 8. You know, and then when we lose the game, I look at my teammates' scores and I'm like, "Ha, I'm I'm plus one K to D spread. You guys, you guys are all negative. Not my fault. We lost. I gave us that one kill. It's not my fault." So yeah, leader and soldier can usually help me win the game. Like, well, this game's a good example. Uh, I instantly switch to my leader class, and there, there's the overshield spot I was talking about. Yeah, not a lot of people know about that, but. Uh, you know, if you spawn on this side, remember there's an overshield on this side. Don't get raped by the team on the other side. And here I go on a tear with the leader's kill streak. It's very fun, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but as you can see here, my foot speed actually increases slightly when I have the Energon sword equipped. Uh, it almost feels like I'm going faster than the scout with Lake Servos. And uh, that perk is called Leg Servos, by the way. I heard somebody called it uh, Leg Gyros, Leg Gyros, Gyros. What? I don't know, something like that. And that's it's, it's Servos, man. A gyros is like it's a delicious uh, Greek uh, treat. It's it's meat inside of pita with like onions and tomato and maybe and like tzatziki sauce. But uh, I think we'll talk more about tzatziki sauce for another time. Uh, anyways, well, thanks for watching. Ciao.